welcome back to my youtube channel if you are new to this channel you must welcome please don't forget to thumbs up and also share this video with your family and friends also click on the notification bell in so doing you will not miss any of my videos if i upload in this video i'm going to be telling you how you can organize your home well and also make good use of your time Having an orderly home allows you to do some other important things. Part of a homemaker's job is to be an effective housekeeper. When we keep our homes tidy, you feel a sense of pride. We enjoy a peaceful atmosphere at home when it is clean. You can find anything you want whenever you want it. A well-organized home is easier to keep clean than a disorganized home. We need to organize not only our homes, but also our time. Some women spend much time in keeping and organizing their homes. You need to spend less time on housework in order to spend more time with your family, developing talents and saving others. Housework is important, but it should not sweep out our minds from other important things. A home is a place for everything. To be comfortable, the first step in organizing a home is to decide what the function of each room is. Then we can put what we want in that room, in a well-organized drawers and cupboard. Even if we have many cupboards, we may still find that we do not have room for everything. In that case, it is a good idea to sort through our things and decide what should be used by someone else, what should be thrown away, and what should be stored somewhere else. If we decide to store some items, they should go into a well-labeled containers. Labels helps us find things quickly and easier. Important papers such as wills, property deeds, insurance papers, and family pictures should be organized, labeled, and filled. Keeping our homes well is easier if all family members take part. The responsibility of keeping the home clean and tidy should be shared by everyone. Please teach little children the principles of order. The little girl to put the brooms in its right place. Teach them to lay their clothes neatly and where it can be found easily. Teach the boys to lay the garden tools neatly where they will not be destroyed by rust. And see that they gather the tool when they are done and put them in the proper place. Another way to make housework easier is to accomplish many tasks at the same time. Some homemakers wear apron with pockets. They can walk through the house and tidy up as they go. Efficient homemakers combine some tasks. For example, they talk and plan while working with their hands. They fold clothes while teaching little children how to handle personal problems or while talking on telephone. It is fun to create ways to use our time effectively. Sometimes we may not finish everything we have planned for the day. If we do the most important things first, we have used our time well. As we plan our work, it is important to remember to be flexible. Our times may not turn out just as we expect. Little and big emergencies may interrupt us along the way. But if we know where we are going, we will accomplish our work effectively and efficiently. We will feel happy at the end of the day. We will have more time to spend with our families. Remember, Orderliness brings peace and harmony into our home. In so doing, we will have more time to develop our talent and save our families 
including others. If you love this video, don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, share this video with your family and friends. See you in my next video. Bye!